Okay, Gordon, I got everything going here. Uh, one of the first things to do is make sure it's at least halfway up with water on the, on the sight glass up here. And uh, just, uh, you just fill it to this right here. Quick uh, disconnect. Got a temporary battery on there. Pump contained red. Um, as far as the fire goes, just I just you know put cordwood in and start with that, and then some coal. If you want to use coal? I've had it up to 100 pounds. It pops off at 100 pounds, so that's not a problem. I don't have the whistle open, the valve open here, because they're both open for your whistles. And there's your engine out there for a different engine if you want to use that. Pop-off valve is the 101. Uh, Blow-down valve, just if you want to open those up when you first start the engine out to let the water out of the cylinder. Valve is right here. Nice, nice setup. And these valves on the oiler, I'll, I'll, take, I'll remove it, but uh, I have them about a half turn open on each side. And I've got the other uh, whistle handles and cords as well, I'll send along with it. Uh, the way you turn on the power, turn on the current, give it a little more throttle. It does slow it down because when that alternator starts working, it slows the engine down a little bit. But it's charging right now. There's a switch right down here. Here it speed up. Uh, blower valve is right here. The exhaust from the engine is going up the stack through this pipe right here. That's increasing the draft. And of course the draft door down here in ash pan is right there. And the pump's working real good. This is the airlock valve. If you have an airlock in the pump, you just want to get the water flowing out of there. Sometimes it's best to put a little water in the hose, you know, upside down, turn it upside down like this. Fill it full of water. And then uh, pump it a few times. That gets water into the pump. So it's got water in it now. And Everything I'm pumping goes right into the boiler. I'm going to drain that pan in a minute or so. It's only a couple gallons. Well, it's working real good. And I put the shield on it too. The heat shield right here. A lot of stuff. A lot of work. So that's about it. My fire's going down, so I haven't been soaking the fire, so the steam's going down a little bit. Thanks a lot.